there's so many fun people in Amsterdam okay. that he, is this really the number one in the whole world for me? Okay. Probably not, right? Basically, you don't know if you're like in a sort of weird competition with somebody else. How do you get to know women in Amsterdam? But I come from a culture that doesn't do dating. Also as a woman. And such guys. How open are they to be with a foreigner? How would you describe the dating culture? In Amsterdam, I think it's really fun because Dutch women are really, yeah, they're, they're too friendly sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah, they're really nice, gentle, friendly, very direct. And I've heard a lot of foreigners don't like it, but I like it a lot. Because Dutch girls, you say, yes, I like you or no, I don't like you. So direct, you mean they also come towards you? Because yeah. often it's assumed in many cultures that the man oh, yeah, yeah. approaches the woman and does the first step. Is it yeah, the same yeah. here? Or? I think here it is maybe 60-40. Mm -hmm. So more men do it a little more maybe. Yeah. But the first date I had in my life, uh, the girl asked me. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, and I like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because in Taiwan, a girl will almost never ask you. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have 10,000 women, maybe one will ask you. Yeah. But it's really uncommon there. So, yeah. so that is more traditional, like the man is like the leader, mm -hmm. the boss. Mm -hmm. They pay more often. But here, like the man, you know, it's like 50-50. You yeah. just pay for yourself. It's uh, also general, typical Dutch from what I've heard, right? Yeah, yeah. People like to split up. Uh, yeah, we go Dutch. You go Dutch, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? There's a famous yeah. saying about this. Yeah, going yeah, yeah. And this also happens during the dates. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it is implied, like no one ever explicitly told me it, it is like this, mm -hmm. but I just knew immediately, yeah, that's just how we do it. How would you describe the dating culture here in Amsterdam? Um, difficult. <laughs> I think uh, there's lots of options, but also not that many options in that sense. So I've experienced dating culture in London, um, but I come from a culture that doesn't do dating so sometimes it's a bit hard to navigate because you you're not that, they don't do um like you kind of meet people from like your group of friends or like somebody recommends them to you in that sense um so you don't really go on a million dates it's very sort of seamless I like you, let's be together at the end. Um, well, here and in London as well, um, because I think there are so, so many options that are thrown at you through yeah, dating apps, websites, whatever, speed dating, anything. Um, I think that makes it a bit more difficult to just be like, yes, I like you, let's try this, see where it goes for a few months, and then if it doesn't go anywhere, that's fine. It's more like, I like you, and I like you, and I like you, and I like you, and I can date all of you at the same time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and that makes it sometimes difficult to navigate because you don't know, that, basically, you don't know if you're like in a sort of weird competition with somebody else. Then how would you say how easy it is to find love here or someone to commit? Is this... Um, yeah, th that is actually an issue I have. Because I, I met a guy, he was with the same, with his girlfriend for 22 years. And I met him in, in a movie festival, an outdoor movie festival. Yeah. And he was there with his uh, girlfriend. Uh -huh. And my issue is, when you're with a girl for three months or six months, how do you know this is the one, like forever, you know? Yeah. It's really difficult for me to choose. And I asked this guy who had a girlfriend for 22 years, how do you know, you know, you wanted to be with her? Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, you just know after six months, one year, two years, there's so many fun people in Amsterdam okay. that he, is this really the number one in the whole world for me? Okay. Probably not, right? How would you describe the dating culture here? Um, in a little joke, a very long story. If you would like to be in a relationship with a Dutch person, um, be prepared to be in a long relationship before tightening the knot, so to say. Um, Dutch people um, are not very risky, as I said, and they like um, dating someone for a longer time, knowing them much better, uh, knowing their values, and then deciding um, upon that if that's the partner for life. Um, that's about serious dating and then we have casual dating and that's a really big city with many internationals um, 
it can be very entertaining. Uh, if you like dating, Amsterdam is really easy to do so. So much culture, clubbing, uh, good restaurants. Um, but uh, you have to be aware with who you date. There's a, um, there's a um, tendency in Amsterdam that people don't stay very long at, uh, at one place. So, yeah. Also, as a woman, um, often it's hard to navigate because obviously this is an unknown person that you're meeting. You can't check, you know. Well, you can sometimes check if they're really creepy or not, but a lot of times you know, you spot the red flags a bit later. So yeah. you can't be sure that you're always 100% safe. So I think that makes dating quite difficult in general as a woman. And Not safe, what do you mean? What, what um, do you, you don't know how they will react if you say no to things or, uh, yeah, if you refuse certain things. Um, obviously, people here are very open and very, you know, interested in you in general and... I have yet to like have a very unsafe experience, but I have heard stories from other friends of mine. Um, and there's always that fear at the back of your head where you're thinking like, do I really want to go with this completely unknown person who could absolutely overpower me, <laughs> you know? Um, but I think because it's a, a larger city and it's a capital city, it does provide a lot of options and yeah, you can, also learn what you like and what you dislike through just going on dates and exploring what the city has to offer and yeah reframing what you might want to look out for i guess <laughs> would you say dutch people are open towards um, dating a foreigner oh definitely yeah yeah i think if if a dutch person has a problem then that will be very unusual and in terms of dutch guys how open are they to be with a foreigner I think that uh, Dutch uh, people as travelers since centuries, they, of course, uh, when we mentioned the colonies, they have very, very various relationship. And I've seen Dutch uh, men or Dutch women married to any nationality that you can imagine. And yeah, they, when they create a home, even with the foreigner, it's always very intertwined between these two cultures, households. Definitely, uh, the priority in a Dutch family is the education and health of the children. Uh, they are very um, sportive nation, uh, very um, on the go, and uh, yeah, they love educating themselves and traveling. That's something that they uh, really enjoy. How do you then generally get to know someone here? How do you get to know women? I, 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 I never use dating apps yeah. because nobody likes me anyways, I think. Uh, but usually it's just you go to a bar with friends and you see some... Like there's some bars where it's very easy to talk to strangers, mm -hmm. that kind of bars. It just depends mainly on the layout. How would oh. these bars look like? Uh, I mean, yeah. what is the characteristics of these bars? What just a, ba basically people are standing instead of sitting. Because uh -huh. then it's you know, you're really free to just walk to people. Yeah. And yeah. just talk to them, you know? Yeah. All, or bars are, bars are just super crowded. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to bump into someone and yeah, just talk to them. Okay. And that's how you meet people. Also, friends of friends. Um, that used to be the way I did it, but now I know most of them. So uh -huh. it's different. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I think that's a good way. And also, like meetup.com events. I've also met a lot of people there. So it's maybe meet up to go to a museum together mm -hmm. with like 50 people. Now, usually like 20 yeah. or so. And afterwards, they go to a bar and yeah. And then it's daytime also. Yeah. Okay. But actual dating, like where do you go? I think restaurants are really bad. Clubs are definitely bad. Uh -huh. But if you're more experienced, I think you just do really take it easy. Very casually, you go, you know, picnic or just walking in the city or um yeah just something that is very low commitment like yeah. the market i like also yeah. where to find people on dating that's the hardest part yeah. to find people on dating uh as i said uh, dutch people are not very risk takers so they're not super known of uh, being able to mingle and jingle uh, you have to pull them if you want them and i will uh, really discourage anyone from apps there's just um 
so many of these people that you can date. So I will say try to go to local events of culture and try to speak a little bit of Dutch. Uh, Dutch people are very capable of having a um, really warm, uh, uh, stable relationship. And uh, how do people typically get to know other people? So I didn't come here for university, so mm -hmm. I didn't get that bit. I think a lot of people meet people in university and then stay friends and kind of no matter where they are in the Netherlands, they're still quite close to each other. Um, the commutes aren't very long even with, um, between cities. Um, but I think a lot of people meet a lot of people at work. Um, expats tend, generally tend to kind of be together uh, just because it's a shared experience. It's easy to understand what people are going through and it's also, if you don't speak the language, sometimes it's difficult to connect um, with, uh, yeah, locals um i would say but um i also think that there is a lot of opportunities here in the city to meet people otherwise so let's say like pub quizzes or um, like language exchanges for example as well or um yeah even dating apps sometimes um obviously there's like the friendship side of bumble and things like that so you can do you've got options um, but there's also a lot of organizations that do, say, like, small dinner parties or things like that, where um, it's easier to meet people um, and connect with them based off of something that you have in common. So usually they're, like, themed and you can join in or apply to them, um, etc., which, which makes it easier to have a smaller setting where you can actually connect with people rather than massive group opportunities. <laughs> do you have... Um... Any tips for when it comes to dating? Somebody comes here and wants to get to know someone. Yeah, I think number one is just, you know, be more, be assertive. Yeah. Meaning, if you see someone you like, just go there, go to them and just talk to them. Okay. Yeah. Be straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Going because Dutch people, Dutch guys really don't mind if girls do it. Yeah. And Dutch girls also don't mind if you do it as a guy. So the last question on that topic. So if somebody would come here to this place and is looking for some dates or some uh, someone to go out with, do you have any tips? I think definitely install a dating app. Um, <laughs> they can be really fun, a fun way to see the city. Um, but definitely be upfront about it. So if you're like not, if you don't live here, sometimes it's not fun that you meet the person they're like oh yeah actually i only wanted to explore the city nothing else um it's good to just be upfront about it okay. um and say yeah you're here for a few days you can do that but obviously there's a lot of facebook groups for expats um a lot of facebook groups also for um people traveling around mm -hmm. um i know there's a lot for women i'm assuming there's a lot of like mixed ones as well um where yeah it's easier to meet people you can just say i'm in amsterdam from this day to this date or i'm here for a concert you know who wants to meet me is anyone else going um things like that uh but also i think there's a lot of um instagram pages that have um different events uh that happen both for expats and in general as well and those are always useful to to look at before coming up